Hi, I'm Rebecca Lesko, a naturalist and educator in Northeastern Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to share with parents and caregivers of two and a half to five year olds an idea to do with your children outside. We're going to have a nose tea party and a scent walk. All you need to have is a cup. I'll show you a few different plants to use, but first some suggestions on how to get the most scent out of your plant. You can just pick a leaf and you may get a subtle scent. If you crush it and roll it between your hands, you'll get a much stronger scent. If you like the smell, put it in the cup. Pine needles from a white pine tree a uh, red pine tree, any of the evergreen trees will have a nice scent to put in your tea. You do need to pick it and crush it. Now this white pine is actually used as an herbal tea and it's high in vitamin C. I love the smell of the pine, so I rolled it between my hands and put it in my cup. So each person should have their own cup and make their own special blend. Next, we've got garlic mustard. It's an invasive plant, so it's everywhere, and it's actually edible. But we're going to just use a nose tea party to teach our two and a half to five year olds not to put things in their mouth outside unless someone um, who's knowledgeable tells them it's okay. So this garlic mustard, you can crush up and smell. Um, I don't like the scent, so I'm not gonna put it in my tea. Most people recognize this as a dandelion, and if you've ever picked them as a child and licked the sap off your fingers, you know they taste bad. The leaves have a distinct smell and shape. It looks like little teeth. Dandelion, a uh, teeth of a lion. So you can crush this and add this to your cup or choose not to. Now, Harper is a grazer. She doesn't like to crush them and put them in her cup. She just likes to eat the grass. I do like to use grass in my tea. I think it has a wonderful earthy smell, especially when you crush it up. I'm gonna put a piece or two in my cup. You can use some of the dried leaves left from the fall, or you could even try some dirt. Chives and wild onion grass look very similar. Both make a wonderful scent to add to your tea. To have a tea party, you want to mix up your tea, have it all ready. A stick as a stirrer would work. Take a nice sniff of it. Ask your children to name their tea. Give it a descriptive name that has to do with the, the smell. Maybe earthy tea or pine needle tea, or green leaf tea, whichever it is, what makes them happy, but try to direct them a little bit. And then share your tea with each other. Some cautions to think about are rose bushes and poison ivy. There's very few other plants that are gonna cause any problems just grabbing them and smelling them. All right, have fun outdoors and enjoy your scent walk and nose tea party. You could share with your children during the walk or afterwards about how some animals use their sense of smell to find food and stay away from predators. Moles do exactly that. They find earthworms and insects under the soil and even in the water. And they use their sense of smell to stay away from predators that might gobble them up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you get notifications of when the next videos are out. Thank you.